Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to GIS Chops. My name's Jeff. I know I haven't put up a video recently, but that's because some unforeseen circumstances happened and we had some stuff going on. If you want to see what that was, stick around to the end of the video and I'll tell you what, what we've been doing that's keeping me from recording. Today I thought I'd throw a quick video up about something in ArcMap that I miss in ArcGIS Pro and I found out that it is actually there. In ArcMap there was this dialogue or pane I guess that would allow you to select the various vertices of an edit sketch and delete those or highlight those and I really missed that in ArcGIS Pro. So that little dialogue or pane in ArcMap is called Sketch Properties, and you can find it here. I think this is the uh, just the regular editor toolbar. I think it's on there by default. If not, you can add it by customizing the toolbar and searching for Sketch Properties. So that's where you find it. If you click that, it opens up this dialogue. Now if I build or start drawing a line, that box gets populated with the location of each of those vertices. Now I can come and check those off and then delete them. So that's how you do it in ArcMap. Now we'll show you how to do it in ArcGIS Pro. I'm going to create a polygon feature. I'll start at the section monument. Then I'll use the dynamic constraints tool. If you haven't watched that video, go back and watch that video there in the upper right and uh, see how that dynamic constraints tool works to enter directions and distances. So this subdivision says I need to go north 0 0.3906-1 1099.87 feet I hit tab again and say south 89.2054-2 and that's 240 feet. So there's my point of beginning. Now I have these two vertices that I want to get rid of and I before I was just right clicking see how my cursor changes to a square I can right click and say delete vertex. Well I found a little trick and I, I took my own advice in my pain with pains video. If you haven't seen that one go up there and look at that video. But these three dots down here at the bottom of the Create Features pane means there's something else there. You hover over that and the arrow changes. You slide that up. And there you have your vertices. So I can select one. I can right click it, say Flash it. Or I can say Pan to or Delete. I can right click it and delete, but I want to do more than one. So I'm going to select the top one, hold down the shift key, and then hit that delete button up there. So now I have just the point of beginning. So that's a quick way to delete vertices, multiple vertices in a sketch. Uh, I was really missing that from ArcMap and discovered that, thought you might be interested in that little trick. So here's why I haven't been recording lately. I actually two months ago recorded enough videos to get through two months thinking that that would be enough to get through the stuff I had to do but it, that's not the case. It's probably going to take me quite a while to get through getting our house fixed from the tree falling on it. If you haven't seen that video check out the the link in the description or the the card up top. So a tree fell on our house in September squashed part of our house and we're working on getting that fixed and we actually want to expand the house a little so to do that we're gonna take the insurance money make it go a little further by doing some of the work ourselves so I've been working on replacing our roof here's a picture of our new roof so that's what one thing I've been working on and also we kind of briefly mentioned it in our King's Peak video that we had uncovered a brick wall in our bedroom so we're in the process of filling in a hole that a bookshelf left in that brick wall and we've been using bricks from our chimney that we don't need anymore to fill in that hole so I'm using YouTube to become a, a bricklayer <laughs> and filling in that hole. So we're pretty busy around here and I'll try to get a few videos up now and then showing little quick tips like this one. But the more in-depth tool videos take me a bit more time editing and uh, recording. So hope you're all doing well. Hope uh, you're, you're happy and healthy. 
Hope everybody's being kind out there. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time. If you want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram, I have links to the accounts down below. You can follow me there if you don't want to get notified by YouTube. You can get notified by Instagram or Twitter when I post new content.